What's up guys? This is Burke here. Uh, Matt could not come to the Dino Day for the El Camino. He's got too much going on. We have to be in Houston tomorrow. Uh, today is Thursday. It's like 6.15 in the evening. The car is about to start making its first pulls on the Dino for power. We got it to the tuner two days ago. Uh, he got it to idle on the trailer so that it could drive off and drive on to the dyno. But it was only running on four cylinders at that point. Uh, we had one bank down. Turned out to be a loose ground that I found yesterday while he was working on the intercooler piping and mounting the intercooler and stuff. He's a tuner fabricator, he does it all. Let y'all meet him at some point, but he is currently in the really loud garage tuning on the idle and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, about to start making pulls. I don't know, I'll keep y'all posted, we'll see what happens. By the way, check out all the cool cars he has in his lot. There is an R33 Skyline right behind me. That's a Notch Fox that I think has a Turbo LS in it. I'm not actually sure. I think it's a Turbo LS in that Notch Fox. Uh, this freaking Corolla? I don't know, this is what, like a 30 series Corolla, something like that, that has a 1UZ in it. That might be my favorite. I don't know, I love the Skyline, I love that. Right in front of the El Camino, there's an Impala SS with an LS in it. All kinds of cool stuff here. You can probably hear behind me, he's starting to get a little RPM in it. This is uh, the first time it's really off idle this whole time. Um, we're just running on the wastegate spring for now. I think that's 7 PSI. I don't know if we've told y'all, but we switched to E85 now. Hopefully it'll keep the motor cooler uh, since Matt killed the last one for me. E85 should help. Uh, plus we got the oil cooler. We got we got a lot of upgrades for the cooling system But yeah, I'm gonna walk you all around inside take a tour of the engine bay while he's doing this a couple of pretty easy pulls. I think he's only revving it to like a little over 6,000 right now. And like I said, seven PSI. It's making 420 at the wheels already. I'm not sure if we're, how high we're gonna rev it. We'll see what he thinks is safe on that stock bottom end. I bet that cam wants to rev a lot higher than we're going right now. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what the tuner thinks about it. Our first dyno session is done. Uh, we were running at 7 PSI, like I said, and we hit 482 horsepower at around 6,500 RPM. We're not pushing the RPMs too much today. We're not going to go too wild today because we have to be on the road to Cletus and Cars tomorrow. Uh, maybe when we get back, we can really crank it and see what it does, but not yet. But we don't think 482 is quite enough because it was making just over 500 before. Uh, that was on a dyno jet. This is a Mustang dyno. We're probably already beating the power, uh, but we're gonna go a little higher. We're gonna swap out the wastegate spring from a seven pound spring to a 12 pound spring, see what it does. We'll probably call it a day at that point. We need to get back to the shop. I need to fix a steering shaft and a couple other minor things, and then we're gonna be on the road in the morning. So I'm glad that everything is going real well. Also, while I'm out here, the owner of the Corolla was nice enough to open it up so we can see under the hood. I'm absolutely in love with this thing, so I'm gonna give you all a quick walk around. He said it's an E50 series. Uh, it was a TE51 or something like that. That motor blew, so he decided to, uh, to get a little bit bigger, but he wanted to stick in the Toyota family. So what do we got? One UZ. V8, and this thing looks massive. It's bigger externally than an LS, um, but it's only four liters. It's just that it's got quad cams, all the cams. This thing is so cool.
last guest vlog for me, as you can see, the El Camino is back in the demo shop. The final numbers were right around like 570 wheel horsepower, 470 wheel torque, something like that, at 12 pounds of boost, uh, which kills the old numbers, especially considering what dyno it was on and should be plenty for him to roast the tires. I have to replace this steering shaft or put a U-joint in there that's a lot smaller because right now it's damn near impossible to turn. Uh, it is rubbing on the header way hard. Uh, I'm gonna guess from when the frame got twisted, it was always close. We dented the header before to clear, but now it is hard on it and almost impossible to steer, so. Welcome to Off the Ranch. It is the day that we need to travel and we have the El Cromino back and it looks ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome. So we got the guy to uh, rig up the piping. He just used a bunch of pieces he had because it's last minute. And we said, we don't care what it looks like. So this is what he came up with. So he, this is all intake piping. Comes out of turbo, goes down here into intercooler, back up out this side and into our engine. So he put it on a dyno and he did some tuning and he got 570 horsepower at the wheels. This thing <laughs> with our stock bottom in 4.8 liter LS out of a 2010 Chevy truck and then we just put Texas speed heads cam and then we have their big intake as well we have this eBay turbo and then all of this science experiment project here and we made 570 horsepower at the wheels so we have not actually tested in a burnout we're gonna do a really quick burnout right now uh, I'm gonna take it over to the bunker do a quick burnout just to make sure it works before we go all the way to Houston, Cletus and Cars and do it in front of a, a live audience. So we gotta switch, put our big wheels up front, put our big wheels in the back, and then we're good to go. We got her outfitted with the off-road wheels and tires. Check that out, those torque thrust twos. Woo! It ran last night on the dyno, but can we get it to start this morning? So far we run into lots of problems, so hopefully we don't have another one right now. Oh, hold on, I need a little more. <laughs> what a thing of beauty. Man, it's so much quieter with that turbocharger. There's no muffler, there's just a turbocharger. Just that. So much quieter than it was. I loved how loud it was before. What's he gonna do? I just drove it up to the bunker so I can destroy my parking lot and not someone else's. There's just more room here, even though there's not that much room. Holy cow, look at that. Looks so good. Yep, I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm glad we did it this way. It's freaking perfect. I mean, it just fits the rest of the car. Look at that craziness. We're not gonna do a crazy burnout here. I just wanna make sure it works. I'm gonna do a little bitty baby burnout, make sure that everything works good before we take it all the way to Houston. Turbo noises are so cool. I was sad about how quiet it is, but the turbo noises completely make up for it. So good, it runs amazing too. We are ready to roll out. Trailers loaded down. We got Earl here. We got the El Cromino. We got the new golf cart. All of our junk in there. Look at these freaking tires. Let's go. I can't get over that. That is, that's some business right there. Thing he's got. The business. We are Houston bound. We have 10 people, both, every seat in these two trucks is completely full. And we're bringing another car too. We're bringing a lot of the bunker crew here. The last time, we're on the trip now, the last time that we took a trip with uh, Chaos Coordinator Jenna, her and Mare were matching. 
and as you can see this time, they're dressed exactly the same again. Jenna, you need a white hat. Get that girl a hat. Also, that is a mean machine over there. We have arrived at the Houston Raceway. Look at that thing. This thing has a Cummins. It's a Cletus's Galaxy. It's got a 12-valve Cummins in it. Oh, I love it. They clear-coated it just over the bare steel. So sick. Someday I do want me a not four-wheel drive Cummins. I just want like a low and slow, like put it in a Cadillac or something. That'd be so sick. And the El Promino has arrived. We need to get a hammer and bang some metal back there. Got a little bit of a rub. Woo! Hey, Guys, welcome no, to Jurassic Park. We have no idea why these are here. They're just here at the racetrack. But I want one. Hey, hey, can we offer them some money and take one of these home? Or put it in the back of the El Cromino? Yeah, sure. This is a T-Rex. And that is a Drunkosaurus Rex right there. Hey guys, where's the party at? <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. We'll see you tomorrow. El Cromino staying there overnight and we'll be back tomorrow. We need to do a few things to it still because obviously it's the last minute thing. It idles super low and so it tries to die right after you come off the throttle. We just need to get that idle up a little bit. It's rubbing on one of the tires. We need to just hammer that. There's something else too we need to do. We need to mount the ECU. I feel like there's something else too. We got time though. This is our room. We got a hotel and all the people from the bunker are all staying here and Drum roll please, Brandon is coming and will be here soon with the Dooley Cummins 12 valve diesel turbocharged, I'm trying to think of everything I'd say, first gen Barracuda. He is towing it and it's gonna be crazy. Mare's even excited. This is the first car I've ever had that you're excited about. I am just excited to see it all put together because like yesterday, it just looked like a bunch of random parts. True. Uh, it drove today under its own power onto a trailer. It's the first time it's ever done that. Ever driven under its own power. I mean, it ran for the first time yesterday. <laughs> so it drove on a trailer and then they're pulling it here. So we're not doing anything at Cletus and Cars with it. We're just, we wanted to show it off because we're really pumped about it. So it'll be here soon. I have not seen it driving yet, but it's going to be awesome. And I'll take you guys along for the ride. Brandon should be here any minute. Hey, I just got me some lemonade. Mayor got some apple juice. Jenna's got her lemonade down there. I like when the <laughs> the commenters call Jenna your stunt double, <laughs> or they call you tattoo tattoo, tattoo mayor. mayor. <laughs> Whenever they dress the same, they just call her tattoo. You guys call her tattoo mayor. That's oh, great. Most of the time, it's not on purpose. Today it was. Today it was on purpose because we have our new Link goes pink stuff. Link goes pink. Cool. Yeah. Are you supporting something? Um, 20% of all of our pink stuff goes to Susan G. Sherman for the month of October. Sweet. And if you spend $125, you get a free t-shirt. Wait, oh, so everything pink? Everything pink, 20% of it goes to Dang. breast cancer research, because it's breast cancer. That is really cool. Sweet, we'll link that in the description below. And did you guys know that I think we've done six vlogs in a row, like what? six daily vlogs in a row, which is kind of fun. Like it's been super hard, obviously. Like it's way more work. It's been a long time since you've done that. I don't, yeah, it's been over a year since I've done that for sure. But it was fun, like like I got after it and like pushed hard and it felt good. I feel like it's all the car stuff that you- There was just tons of stuff happening this week. So like, <laughs> yeah, we had a ton of work. Like. I mean, I was up till midnight last night just trying to get a car together, and it was great. Not running, like literally together. Oh, like, yeah. The pieces together. Like it was, it was exploded apart, but we did it. It was great. Well, I mean, we didn't, we didn't do it last night. Like, we finally got all the pieces together today, but 
It's good. Anyway, if you guys like these daily vlogs, we will not do daily, but we might do little streaks like this. Daily, like, daily consumes your life. Like, that's all you do. So the daily vloggers who do it for a year, they are so hardcore. But I like doing, like, little streaks every now and again. So if you guys like it, let us know. As soon as that sun goes a little down further, it's going to light up all the bottom of these clouds. This sunset is going to be insane, guys. Just wait for it. I'm telling you. And it's not because I had a lemonade earlier. It's, nope. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a good... Yes, I said a lemonade. <laughs> it's happening. It's getting lower. Now you can see how bright it is there. Just wait. As soon as he's a little lower, lights at the bottom of that. Magic. It's doing it. It's happening. It's the greatest day of my life. Okay, yeah, there's a fire happening right now, but look at this sunset. Oh my goodness. God, it's pretty. So pretty. Everyone's unsubscribing right now. <laughs> what up, Brandon? What's up, dude? You just drove this Cuda all the way here to Houston? Yeah, you know, it drove really well. It's crazy. You're so high. It's, it's the crazy how big these tires are it makes you so high. Oh, he's on a trailer. <laughs> I oh, didn't thanks. even see that. A lot. Uh, so you got it. You got it driving. I saw a video. It, it does. It We're does. gonna show you guys driving it tomorrow, but Brandon is gonna go ahead and turn on some headlights. Okay, hold up. Dang, this thing looks alive. Okay. Wow, that's really bright. All right, let me see if this works. All right, and we got a little special feature on these headlights. Oh, oh man. So. Evil. It looks pink. Oh, dude. Uh oh, that one's oh. not working. <laughs> dude. So green only has three for some reason. So sick. Oh. My camera is not doing this justice at all. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Got a red one? That is, that is some wires. So, oh, hold on, let me see. What is this? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Party, dude. Dude, this is... That's weird. I'm gonna get arrested for sure in this thing. So we gotta fix this one. This one's off. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, they're fading. <laughs> that one. I like the one red one. All right, Brandon, start her up. Dude, I'm gonna pull over so many people like that. It's funny when you put normal cars on trailers, it's hard to open the doors because they hit the fenders. This one's three feet above the fender. Let's try to figure it out. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>